That's um, Revelations of Jesus Christ is the channel name, I think. Demons heard screaming when God shows up. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the, the, the below. Opened up to a uh, random verse. I'm still learning how to do this. Isaiah 66, 24. I guess it's page yeah, 817. Uh, there's a 24 next to where my finger landed. I just opened it to a random verse. And they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me. For their own worms do not die, and their fire is not quenched. They shall be an abhorrence to all flesh. I remember someone's health testimony talking about um, uh, the worms. Um, ugh. Ugh. Let me oh, sorry. Let me pause my computers. As soon as I started praying, they started talking about. I hate my mom and I hate my dad. And um, I wanted y'all to hear those people because, and this ain't got nothing to do with me. This is y'all gotta understand something. There's there's two there's only two there's well there's many ways but the two ways that I can think of that pertain to what I'm the best way I can explain it. saying this right I'm not biblically smart enough to be this articulate the way I, I probably should be but there's only two ways that you come to hear a testimony that would save your life and I hope this might be one but it's the, 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 the well the two things that have to happen is God has to will it, number one, meaning that for those of us that are, that are born and that are here, um, he has to will it, and also, um, in the same sentence, allow you to have, um, the protection you need through it all. So God has to will it and then God gives you the protection you need to survive it like a mitigating factor, a, mitig a mitigating shield um, so to speak or spiritual armor however you want to say it. Um, I don't know the, the right way to put it, but I think you get the point. And then the second part is we have to do our part and we have to endure it to the end. Meaning that I think this is some type of conference and 700 people decided to go um, and get baptized and get saved. So before this part, they were baptized, and I don't know what's, I don't really know what's going on right now. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I said it with them too, even though I've already been through all that stuff. I mean, I, to me, it's all like soul food, if you kind of want to think of it that way. If, if a, now use your discernment, don't just go around every church taking, because the devil will make a blessing seem like a curse like but like if you say if you think like what I'm saying is like oh this guy's demonic or whatever I mean I'm not but that's what someone thought if they thought that 
and then they go back and see all of my other videos and they see that every single video I have is I'm saying all the glory to God. I'm not saying, oh, look how tough I am, look how great I am, look how whatever I am. Um, that's why I'm always saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. Over and over again. Every single day. Every video. I'll repeat most of what I said or part of what I said. But the one thing I always say is I thank God and give the glory to God and stuff like that. So that never changes. And that should never change for anybody that really uh, loves the Lord. Now what this is talking about is people that are most likely in hell, I'm assuming. I'm not really sure what that means. Hold on. The word picture promises judgment and punishment. Yeah, I, I don't know. It says Jerusalem's garbage dump where unclean corpses decompose and were burned. The final eternal punishment is a lake of fire. Although the book Isaiah depicts God's coming salvation, it co closes with a strong statement of the judgment of the wicked. Ooh. Well, if y'all ain't saved, I think, well, I don't think, I know that the Lord wants me to s communicate that because that's literally what they're getting saved from is that. Now, he did say, uh, I say I get angry and blame it, blame it on bipolar. I do have bipolar. I do have, I used to have really extremely bad rage problems, but it, 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 part of it is spiritual, part of it it is like environmental or like consequential of like, you just, you had to defend yourself if someone's trying to like rob you or like break in your house or beat up your sister or girlfriend or, or an elderly woman or, or whatever the case may be from a guy's perspective. Um, so, so I guess what I mean, like, you got to beat somebody up, but you're a Christian. Or you're you're trying to become, you're in the process of becoming a Christian. Or, or you're trying to leave that old you behind, like the old, like, you know, like Roadhouse adult and beating people up type thing. And that's fun and blah, blah, blah. Um, but you don't want to do that violence no more. You don't want to have that wrath. Um, and now you, you feel like you, you know offended God again and um, instead of giving it to, to to God and giving it to the Lord and the Holy Spirit to continue working on you to, to get delivered from it um, you kind of like just do something different like your own thing um, that could be an example of uh falling into that I guess you would say demonic spiritual state of being for lack of a better way of putting it um, but the point is is that you did something that you had to do that you didn't want to do that you used to do but you know it's not the the new you it's the old you but since the old you came back for a half a half a little you know a 10 minute period you feel like the new you is tainted or it's like whatever, like our relationship until the day we drop is going to be always learning in Christ and in each other. So you, so you literally take your last second. You might have a revelation in the last 10 seconds of your life that you ain't never had. And maybe that's something that the Lord wanted you to, to to learn that's the last little thing that he wanted you to learn I don't know I can imagine it's happened 
but um, I was going to make a, a video about Family Guy, which I'm going to make here in a second, but I put off making it because um, this I kind of wanted to hear what this was talking about. I'm halfway through it, and um, but what people don't understand is that the reason that the world is how it is is because people are violent in their mind people are far more violent in their mind than they are in their physical hands or act like their body you, you, you know we got people playing Mortal Kombat in their minds telepathically just waiting for someone to take their hand off the block button just so they can go crazy and try to kill them just because I like Pepsi and you like Coke. Now you want to beat me up because you hate Pep. You, you don't you don't even care about it's not about the Pepsi, it's just about that I don't like what you like. It's like a hive state of mind or I don't know what you call that. But you, you people that do this stuff like that, y'all y'all are goofy. It it's like People lose their life over the silliest stuff like that. And the person that's dead is not coming back. And the person that killed the person ain't gonna come back home. Well, I mean, this isn't our home. Heaven is our home. But, um, It's not worth it. But all the stuff that he's talking about, all the abuses, the you know, the mental, physical, emotional, sexual. Um, addiction, all those things. Drugs, addiction, vices, sexual perversion, violence, mental health disease or um, physical ailments or um, anything. I've been through all that. And almost from 14 to 19, I almost did five years in jail for almost killing this guy for putting his hands on my girlfriend. And then because I made a threat at school and then I followed it up. When we got off the school bus, that was a premeditated, I don't know all that court stuff, I'm not a criminal, but. Uh, see, and again, God put his hands on me from being a felon, you know. Like every 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 step of the way, I can tell I can tell you exactly how, who, what, where, and when, and everything that what uh, God did for me, and it, it it doesn't matter why. God's done that for me, but if I was in front of God now, I'd ask Him why you know like what. Uh, what is it about me that um,
what is it about me that you you for whatever reason decided to um, impart upon me so much Just pity. It's kind of like Mike Tyson and Custom Auto. It's like you see a, I guess you see potential in a kid, and you um. You know, if you can work with them a little bit, that, that you can turn them around, because you kind of see the path they're going down. But the but the, the the path that they should be on, as opposed to the one they're they're going down. And if you just spend a little time with them and show them a different way, that they can reach their potential and uh, end up making it in a good way and for the right reasons and um, for God's sake for your sake right like uh, well when I say for your sake I mean like hyper I mean hyperbolic I'm not being literal but like some little kid was saved in a fire and then that kid became a doctor and then you got in a real bad wreck and you're like the only doctor that knew how to save this person's life because you're the only person that studied it and so now that doctor saved your life and now you're alive and now you're watching this video and then you share this video with somebody else because your life has been saved. And then you say, uh, you know, you bring 10 people to Christ and they go to your church and 10 people get baptized. S stuff like things that seemingly don't have no connection with each other happen like that all the time. So I mean, I feel like questions like that with God are like, uh, not, it's just for God to know, I feel like. Although, on one hand, he'd be like, well, you know, all things would be revealed type thing. I mean, it's fine to, like, for us to think that in our mind, like, hypothetically. Like, why did God do this? Why did God do that? <coughs> I mean, for things that are good things, obviously. Um, but at the same token, though, it's like, who are you to challenge God's ways of thinking? You know, which is, I, I don't do. Well, as in, like, like, I've never been like, oh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna tell God to do this or do that, or I'm gonna demand that I get an answer from God. Like, nah, I've never done it in my life. I've been through horrific things that have made me crazy. Like, just from like, lost my dad on mine an infinite number of times, just trying to get it back together. But I'm not stupid crazy. I'm just like, life beat me down real bad crazy. It's a big difference. But you got to be stupid crazy to be telling God he's going to do anything. I don't know. Please don't do that. Please do not do that because it ain't going in well. You want to wrestle with God. You want to be upset. All these things. That all, God, God knows all those are in our normal spectrum of behaviors. Um, but as far as like. Yeah. I guess this is as far as I want to talk about it. Y'all get the point. Um, but I think y'all can hear it clear as day that, um, that ain't no horror movie in the background. That's real people. Those are real demons. 
I just wanted to share that with y'all just because it's kind of like um, if you think like the worst the worst part of um, what goes for good and bad but you think about like They were saying that, you know, like five different people and they've all had, like, one was, like, sexually abused, one was, like, beat up, <coughs> one was, <it? coughs> one was um, mentally ill, one was physically ill, and one was, like, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Like a witch. Um, the witch one is the only one I can think of right now on the top of my head. I'm not a witch or anything like that. I've never... I'm, I'm just making this an example because I couldn't think of a fifth one. Uh, my pain medicine's making me loopy. Sorry. Uh, just trying to remember what the Lord want me to say. So you have five different people to have those five different bad things going on, right? Well, essentially all the people in there, everything that he was saying, which I know you didn't hear everything, but everything he was saying, um, I have I have all those things. So all the all the I guess you could say all the demons or all the um, spiritual attacks. Um, one, one thing I, God's blessed me with is in, in addition to uh, extremely strong discernment and the ability to read um, situations and people um, I've always listened to my intuition about everything and it's never failed me not one time and I do mean not one time and it's just a very great gift of discernment that God gave me. So all glory to God for that. Because what I'm saying is, I shouldn't even be here alive without that. Or without that, I wouldn't even be here right now. I'd have been dead a whole long time ago. And um, like, for example, when my uh, rabbit got ate by an alligator or whatever it was in the in Mulgate and St. Matthews. And you, yes, it really, really, I know I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and that's not known for that, but reptiles, amphibians can travel all over the world, and they do. There's a shark that went from like somewhere to some, like from Florida to California or something. You can look it up. So even though it sounds like, what do you mean an alligator or a crocodile or whatever, in uh, Louisville, in the, in the city, like he was in the, the tunnel system in the water, the pipe system, or the creek. He was in the creek. I synced him. How do I know I synced him? Because he wanted to eat me. <laughs> okay? Every little kid knows what a crocodile looks like. Kid, you know, little kids love crocodiles and alligators. I don't know. And, uh, <clears throat> and I was fishing my little Mickey Mouse bobber, and it fell in the, in the creek. And it was like that that far down to like slide down to get in and then like the water's like here and I came up to about like about three fourths or so or about half about three fourths the way of the um, the mud thing oh that is one of my near death experiences I, did, I forgot about that wow that's deep cause I, I was he was only maybe I don't know one, two, three, four, five. About ten car parked cars away from where I was. So, if you go out in your neighborhood, you looked at ten parked cars in a row, like or at, like at work, ten parked cars. I was at the first car, and he was at the tenth car. That's how far away he was. And right when I seen him, I said, "I need to get out of here." Like my my intuition, the the um, discernment, all that stuff that the Lord gave me. There is a difference between discernment and intuition and comprehension and instinct 
there's a difference. But like an example of the discernment would have been like, okay, should I stay still and hope he move, goes away or should I get out of here? I need to get out of here. It wasn't even no question. And I climbed my little butt up there and I got up out of there. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Lord, for real. Just trust me, y'all. Y'all want to get ate up by no alligator. Now, I ain't never been ate by an alligator. But I almost like to have the guy that out of there real quick or else I would have. And uh, I almost like to have to get got by the killer croc. Where Mr. Little Baby Light Skin go? Oh, Mr. Little Baby Light Skin didn't make it. No, my mom wouldn't look like that. My mom would have. Oh, gosh. Anyway, I ain't got no good sense sometimes, y'all. I try to make it a little bit not so dark. But, <clears throat> so my point is, just to finish the video, it's kind of rare that you find, um, well, I would say it's somewhat rare. I wouldn't say it's like super, like insanely rare because we always have stuff happen, but, um, yeah, another example would be like, you have a friend that you have like, just a regular friend you have like, you know, like five out of like 15 things in common. And then you have a friend that you have 30 out of 30 things in common. And that, that's your road dog to the end, right? Because obviously, y'all are perfect to be best buddies. Um, so I guess what I mean is the point is that the timing of things um, aligning with other people in your lives for the things um, God has planned for us to experience or to learn from each other or whatnot. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's kind of like saying you can you can recognize a uh, a rare occurrence when you see it and you know capitalize on it and um, just you know thank God for it for, for whatever that means whether it's like that doctor thing that's you know they end up saving your life or whoever's life I'm being hyperbolic or the friend thing or like <clears throat> so what I mean is, is I could if I would have been there I could have talked to anybody there and ministered to them right why? Because I, <clears throat> if you don't know the difference between empathy and sympathy, empathy is having, um, um, trying to help somebody through a really bad situation, um, that you've also been through. So like, oh, we both got shot in the, shot in the arm or we both got shot. Okay. Let me, uh, I understand exactly how you feel because I've been shot too. That joint hurt. And I like to have to bust back, but the Lord said, fall back. I said, yes, the Lord. Uh, so that's empathy, being through, going through the same thing. Uh, sympathy means the opposite where um, you haven't been through it, so you don't know what it's like, but you try to put yourself in that person's shoes. So it's like, oh, my, my cat scratched me. Where's it at? Am I that light skinned? Hold on, why can't I see? What? Is it magic? Huh? Hold on, what's going on, y'all? Where's my skin? Well, I feel like a Freddy Krueger movie. There it is. So my cat scratched me. Right. And then you're like, oh, my dog scratched me. And I'm like, well, my cat scratch hurts more than your dog scratch because cat's claws are like razors and dog's claws are dull and thick. So, obviously, there are two different types of scratches, so that's where you would have uh, sympathy. Although cat scratches do hurt more than dog scratches, just so y'all so know that. 
If a cat wanted to kill somebody, y'all, a cat could kill any, even like somebody like a world's strongest man or something. A cat could kill like any human if they really, really, if they really wanted to. Cause y'all gotta understand something. Cause even like if you if you ever play with your well, well, if you ever play with a cat and they get a little they get aggressive, like even mildly aggressive, like coming after you, stalking you, and they they jump on you. You can throw them off of you, but if they get you so much in the face to where, like, you're, because you're, your, your flesh is exposed, so it's like, stuff, like, as soon as your flesh gets exposed, you're getting exposed to bacteria and all this stuff, so you'll, you'll you can go into shock very quickly from cat scratches, and, um, so the point is, if you threw them, at whatever point you might throw them off. They're most likely going to be coming back um, for round two. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Finish him. No, I'm joking. Just don't make your cats mad, y'all. Obey your cats. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. The bow meows are fine. But I, I'm sure that someone has gotten killed by their cat before. Something probably triggered the cat and they attacked them and clawed them. They don't necessarily have to claw you to death. They just have to claw you enough to where you, you pass out and you get infected and you're pretty much screwed. That's what that's a, that's what an antibiotic is supposed to be for is to prevent an infection from setting in. But if the infection is set in and it's already ran, running its course and ran its course, if you try to administer an antibiotic after a certain point, um, it probably won't work. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But uh, that sounds about right. An antibiotic is a uh, preventative for bacteria buildup or infection. An antidote is something different. An antidote is like you get bit by a, 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 a king cobra and um, or a black mamba, um, and the like the poison is filling portion through your body slowly killing you and you have like an hour or so to get like to reverse it with an antidote that's an antidote so an antidote and an antibiotic are the same thing so if you're anywhere and someone like you're out in the safari or something they're like hey i got these uh in case we get bit by a snake i got these uh these antibiotics you'd be like boy stop you better go and get them antidotes <laughs> All right, y'all. But for real, I was trying to make it, bring it down a little bit. I don't want to be, uh... one thing I will say, though, that's why I had to con compose myself a little bit when I got on here earlier. Um, undoubtedly, God wants us to be in his word. He wants us to get to know him. This is for new people that aren't Christian yet or new Christians um, you know pace yourself like I was watching something the other day for the Lord and I said Lord I'm, I'm too tired right now I, did, I went as far as I can go for you today I'm going to go to sleep and then when I wake up I'll finish it and then when I woke up I finished it not because I was overwhelmed just because I was tired so if you find yourself needing to um, take a break um, to not overdo it, you know, definitely don't overdo it. Um, the, the, the healing process and the learning process and everything overall is far our, our betterment. Um, you know, so just just remember to pace yourself and try to not feel like, oh, I got to read this you know, I gotta read all this today when I know I can only read like this much cause this much right here I gotta get, I gotta understand 100% of what's being said cause if not I'm gonna keep rereading it right but then somebody else might be able to read that much it, it, everybody my point is everybody's different we all are able to, to hit, take in but so much at a time um so yeah that's the video guys, kind of just a random video, I wasn't really planning on playing, 
or making, but I was actually going to, um, I didn't got the light skin food itis, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I just ate some chicken and Alfredo sauce and some garlic bread. I'm going to do um, some Family Guy videos. I'll keep them in short form so y'all can break them down. I do, I'll do them in parts. But I'm going to... Um, God was telling me to break down... Um, just point out the, the blasphemy, essentially. Is, is really You can call it a lot of things, but ultimately it's just blasphemy. Mockery isn't... That's not... If if I if I shoot a hundred shots and I miss a hundred shots, and you say I'm the worst shooter ever, and you're laughing like ha 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 ha, like Nelson or whatever, ha <laughs> ha, or whatever, yeah, you're mocking me. But when you're when you're laughing at God, when you're laughing at Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, um, and you know. mocking the Holy Spirit um, when you're doing those things that's not mockery that's blasphemy when you're la when you're laughing at the Holy Trinity when you're when you're per portraying the Holy Trinity in any light other than what it is in the, in the Bible and only in humility and with fear and trembling if you're, if you're not doing that um, and, and from the perspective of what Family Guy does, it's pure blasphemy. And, um, so. Then I kind of thought about, why do I like Family Guy? Well, I don't anymore. I've rebuked it since then, but I really couldn't even tell you why. But, yeah. Who knows? But I'll be doing some videos on that. Um, on, only about uh, God and Jesus. Just those. Because those are the ones that matter. All the other stuff is just junk. More or less. Gosh, my head is itching. Alright, guys. Y'all don't want to hear me scratch my head. I got to cut my hair. Alright y'all. Well, I might I'm probably gonna take a little nap, take a little rest for a little minute, and then when I get up I will um do those family guy videos, so hit the bell icon thing and then um follow the channel if you haven't. And uh they'll be out soon. And I'm not gonna say too much because y'all I'll keep the camera up. I'll keep my face up on the camera. Um big enough so you can see but um, I will I will comment on it uh, at the at the end of the I'll let the whole video play and then I'll kind of go back in uh, try to keep it like a 10 minute mark because it's gonna be like scenes I'm sure so um, I won't keep the video longer than like I don't know 15 minutes probably 10, 15 minutes. Why is this little boy sleeping like that? Joker. What you doing, you know? Jokey J. You hear daddy talking to you? But you don't care? Mmm. Mmm. Tough. I'm smiling. Oh, she's in her pen. Shut up, man. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say about what I'm talking about. With my, it's my life. Leave me alone. My cats. I love my cats. It just makes me so happy, man. All right, y'all. We out of here.